tenant needed to use the restroom. The single two on your side, so I'm in get, charge. Like, all these single cards. Mm -hmm. so it's Big only mistake, Kenan. Big if, mistake. But if I In Anacortes, from Anacortes, ridiculously busy this morning. Yes. We, oh, P.S. By the way, Anacortes, come and visit. Well, we've been we've been we've here been before. here before, but like it is gorgeous. We gonna, didn't get uh, to give you a full like recap of the town, no, no. but you should know that it's gorgeous. And really, what started this whole adventure thing was yeah. in a trip to Anacortes two years ago. Well, Trish and I came out to Anacortes for Trawler Fest. Yes. And. We left Anacortes excited. We were pumped. We were. We were pumped. We and could then see the vision. Yeah, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to go trawler around the world. Mm -hmm. And then after about a month, we ended up being like almost like disappointed. We were like It was like a dream lost. It was. It was like it was like, well that's what we want to do, but we can't do it for ten, for a decade or longer. Mm -hmm. And we thought Because of the expenses and being away and all of that kind so of stuff. So much about it. So we thought, well what if we went sailing? And so then we started to like pursue sailing and then even that started to seem like oh my gosh when am I gonna get the business to the point where I can run it without like a constant internet connection and then Trish she interviewed Chris and G on the podcast mm -hmm. and what what epiphany did you have from that well they said they started in a van and then they went through Alaska and mm -hmm. then they you know got a different one a different RV and a different mm -hmm. RV mm -hmm. and I sat down with Mark because we used to have our coffee in the morning on our nice big fluffy couch mm -hmm. which I miss <laughs> And I said, if Chris and G can go get in a van and go all the way up to Alaska, mm -hmm. we can figure something oh. out, right? Because what I when I what I mean when I say that is that they made certain sacrifices yeah. to do what they were doing. They worked certain jobs, they went up there and did certain things. Yeah. So I said to myself, what is it that we could give up or change about our dream and what we're doing right now to make something happen? That's right. And then Trish also interviewed the Nemiers. They have a 62-foot Nordhaven. And I remember specifically, it was episode five of the podcast. He said, we had to start asking ourselves, what concessions are we willing to make in order to make this happen? Mm -hmm. And I heard him say that on the podcast, or something thereabouts. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's crazy. I've never thought about making concessions to make your dream happen. Mm -hmm. Like dreams are supposed to be like this all Big, perfect lofty thing. lofty goal. Yeah, and yet the people who we were interviewing, who Trish was interviewing, were making sacrifices. And mm -hmm. so I think that's what started the whole thing off. We're like, we're not making enough sacrifices to make this happen. And mm -hmm. that's why it's still a dream. Yeah, we just kept, well, later when we're ready. Yeah, when yeah. We're ready, with the perfect boat and the perfect time and the perfect situation. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, this is what started off. Anna Cordes Trawler Fest kicked the whole thing off. And now, what? Three years later? Two years later? Two years? Two years later? So. Something about that? We're in the same parking lot <laughs> with an RV. With an RV getting ready to go on a boat. And 15 months of travel because we were willing to make sacrifices, concessions toward our goal. So anyway, that's a little uh, that's a little this glimpse is, into all this. If that is contributes to you at all, I hope it does. Okay, buckle up. Now. Buttercup. So we're in line now to get on the ferry. When I made the reservation, I said I was 50 feet. 50 feet. And now I see him get out with a tape measure, walking tape measure for a U-Haul truck ahead of us. <sighs> Carson, do you have any... What do you got? 52 point something. Oh gosh. Should get that calibrated. You got those spare tires hanging out the back too. Dang those spare tires. Know, did you I count did. the fly on the grill? I did. Okay, I figured. The state freaks out if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what about the toilet paper hanging out the black tank? Did you get oh, that? I missed the toilet paper. You missed the toilet paper? Yeah. All right. Leech, Mark, and you booked for a 49-footer. Come on, man. Who are you trying to kid? 259.50. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the points for being close. There you go. Freshly cut ginger. All right, we got a freshly cut ginger here, and we've just been chatting with Ron and Krista in the line to go over. And then, what's your name? 
Luke. And then Luke over here is from Sweden, right? And he's out here visiting family from Washington. And I guess there's four kids back there, but there's tinted windows. And so they have Instagram. So they're getting a traveling ginger. So let's. All right. Here's your ginger. Oh, stop. All right. Here's the Instagram stuff. Yeah. When you take a picture with ginger, you got to hashtag, hashtag traveling ginger. And then we'll keep track of all your travels. They need trimming when they come from printing. So, hey, here you go. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a finished ginger. I know. fantastic. Ron, you do good work. It looks like it. Yeah. I wonder if he could fit up in that bunk up there. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, I gotta put my lime juice to work, so I thought I'd make a little drink. A little something special. In-flight drink? Yes, in-flight drinks. RV bar RV bar on deck one. Canada. Canada. Rob says, Canada. you know why they say A all the time? Because it's C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. I sound like the guy from Modern Family. All right. So, <laughs> we're in Canada and what was I gonna say? We're going through oh, customs, oh, okay? Oh, huge shout out to Bill on the boat, okay? Oh Bill my works for the ferry line and I asked him how we can possibly get all of the KYD Insider like traveling gingers in the mail and he says well I could mail them for you so nice so thank you so much Bill we're gonna cross this border even though we already did we're gonna get through the gate We are Oceanside RV Park, which by the way, they invited us here. It's kind of cool. It's very cool. How fun was that ferry ride? So cool. Trisha's making drinks down there and ginger. We ended up um, sitting up top for a little bit and then we ended up going in the truck and just kind of hanging out in the truck. We were like on a cruise. So now we have arrived. Technically, we're closer to Sydney than to Victoria. Is that yes, right? that's right. So now we're going to drive 11 miles mm -hmm. a little bit south, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, and we're going to go hit Victoria. In case I didn't mention it in previous uh, episodes, Kenneth and Tracy are KYD insiders. They reached out to us and they said, hey, you're going to be in Vancouver. We've got this trawler, trawler boat up here. We'd love to take you guys out. And we're like, um... Yeah, okay, we're yes. in. We need to get uh, a few provisions. Mm -hmm. We're in charge of smoothies. Smoothies. I think that's, we're pretty lightweight on the responsibilities. If we have if you're a... ever in charge of smoothies, <laughs> you have it good, okay? <laughs> I'll go and take you guys and your whole family on a boat ride around all the islands if you and bring you... smoothies. Okay, are you ready? I am so ready. This is what we live for. So excited. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Westby family. Okay, we are off at the crack of 8.30 and it's 15 minutes away and we have everything packed. Unlike other trips, we're gonna be on the boat for the next couple days. Yes. I have to make sure I have 
all my chargers, all my SD chips, wow. all my external hard drives. It's a all lot my of moving drones, parts. It's a lot of moving parts. Polarizers. This is usually his suitcase. Yeah, normally it's like, oh, I don't have something. I go back to the trailer. But now it's like, do I have that? Do I have that? Do I have that? Let's hit the road, go over to Van Isles Marina, introduce you to the Westby family, and get on this trawler and go shoot some good footage. So we're walking down the dock and someone said, I watch you on YouTube, I know you. She particularly knew Tori because of her gingerness. Nice to meet you, what's your name? Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Pleasure. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. And I love gingers. I was like, <laughs> you know, I spotted her because I was like, oh I love red, red, red. And then I saw your teeth and I was like, I know. Oh. Jennifer just pinpointed such an emotion that so many people have that travel full time that they love seeing new things but they also miss being home and seeing their friends and having that stability. So she said, I watch you guys and if you guys can do it, I can do it. <laughs> so it was an absolute blast. Oh, did we write, walk right by you? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to meet Good you. Meet you. Yeah. Hello. 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 Porter? Porter, yeah. Porter, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice Good. to meet you. Same with you. Welcome. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. This isn't what I was expecting. Guys, come on, let's go back to the RV. Back to the RV. This isn't this isn't gonna do. Uh, what kind of boat is that you said? It's a 1979 Puget Trawler, which is like 1979 Puget. Wait, what? Is this Puget Trawler? Puget, Puget, Puget Trawler. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they have all kinds of like marine traders or you know. How many well, feet? Uh, 44. 44 feet. Are tow warmers. <laughs> Tracy says, so out of all of this, tow warmers, it's at the top of the list. Yeah, tow warmers. Wait, Trish. They don't have tow warmers? <laughs> Where's my bag for the next year or two? Hey, let's ease into it, alright? Alright. Right now I'm talking months, not years, because I don't want to scare them. Oh, okay. Alright? And then tomorrow we'll start talking years. Alright, yeah, I can keep working out. shock and awe. <laughs> this is so fabulous. <laughs> and I have the hiccups. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and Kenneth, this is like, you know when people bring you into their home, I've said this before, you get the most amazing experience. You get to see a place like you have never seen it before. And they are showing us their world and their world is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. We are up, <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> in the islands around Vancouver Island. And it's just one beautiful sight after the next moment. What is the plan, what are we doing? I don't actually know what the plan is. My plan is to just sit here in shock and awe. <laughs> Tori just told me though that we're coming in somewhere where we can paddleboard into a place where there's like ice cream. I don't know, I stopped hearing anything after that. Hey Tracy, don't let me forget to thank you for ruining our RV life. <laughs> Just in case that doesn't come up. Didn't hit anything. Oh, That's even better. Good. Even better. 
okay. feel very pro-ish. Looking, pro looking yes. apart. Actually, yeah. you probably want to hold it the other way and yeah, look even more pro-ish. Of course, yes. Like I was saying, <laughs> like I was saying. Just like this, this is how I do it. And we have arrived to where again? Montauk Harbor. Montauk Harbor. Yeah. We were underway for what, two hours? Mm-hmm. Going about seven knots. 16 nautical miles. 16 nautical miles. I'm talking slow so I can stretch this on and make it look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that is all the knowledge I have thus I'm, far. I'm trying to make it like, I'm trying to make it last. I'm stretching this, this out. This is Galliano Island and it's uh, in the Gulf Island. Chain. This is Galliano Island, and it's in the Gulf Chain. I'm going to edit Kenneth out, and it's going to make it look like I know that. We're in the squats. middle of a deep squat challenge. No squat pun intended. Challenge. <laughs> 2017. Woo! Okay, so what is it? Because okay, no we one really—I don't know if you've ever heard of a squat challenge, but it's over a series of days, and 30 you add, days. You add so many squats every day, and today is 70 squats. 70 squats. 70 squats, and we can't let a day go by without doing the squats. Do your squats. So we're gonna break out some tunes, and we're gonna get cracking. Get squatting. <laughs> what? Going over to their boat. Breakfast was insane. Insane! Cinnamon buns. Breakfast burritos. Eggs. They're crazy. So now it's hiking time. Hello. There goes Carson. So we are in Montauk Harbor. <laughs> Harbor I feel like and there's all there's a whole bunch of mooring balls and these mooring balls were $14 per night. So yeah. the park ranger came through at night and basically collected the 14 Canadian. So for those that live in the States, it would be, what, 12? First, you, you could have just anchored here, right? Yes, absolutely. And you could have plenty anchored of room. In plenty of room and, uh, and nothing. So it's kind of a one advantage of boating over RVing is that you are a little freedom. bit more sustainable. There's a little bit yeah. more freedom. And if you want to save money, you can. Well, you I mean, choice. you got to buy an expensive boat. But other than that, you were saving money we, left we, and right. We, we saw some boats not too expensive out there. We did. Yeah. The gray tarp. And Kenneth and, and oh, bought, Kenneth, oh. Kenneth and uh, Tracy bought Nostra Casa 20 years ago. And have just been improving so it, it every single year. But let me tell you something. It's a it is dialed. Boat. In. Yes. And apparently they're still working on stuff. I'm working on a, just an invitation back. We don't we don't normally get invited back anywhere. So <laughs> I don't know why. Definitely. Oh my gosh, look at those starfish. They're purple. So here's what we learned on these on these white beaches in this area. And we don't know if this is accurate or not, but we heard, rumor has it, that this is the leftover like harvest where, where like the native Canadians would come down here and for like tens of thousands of years, this is where they would harvest all their oysters and clams and whatnot. And all of these shells are basically left over. So they did a lot of shucking 
on this beach because it is full of this stuff. And it, it, it looks beautiful. It looks like from far away, it looks like a white sand beach. But when you get up close, you realize, my gosh, these are shells. So it makes a really cool noise when you walk on it. Up these stairs and there yonder is apparently an RV park. So it's Montauk, there's an RV park up there. So if you like this video, well, a couple things, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But if you like it, then you can come out here with your RV. I mean, once you hit that provincial name, Boom. Boom. It's upper level VIP all the way. So what's the provincial thing? We're in Canada. So it's oh, no longer a state okay. park. It is provincial. Uh -huh. And we have all agreed that once you name it something like that and throw a little crown on top, it's like ten dollars higher. I mean Boom. right out of the gates. Boom. So we're kidding. We're just kidding. Alright, do we have very do well we actually have to go up these stairs and go video the RV yes, park or can yes. we just can we just you tell them it it's there you, and babe. stay here? You have it in you. Alright, let's go. So we're gonna go from this harbor to another harbor. There's still so many. I don't know where. And then from there, back to Sydney. That's the plan. Okay, we are now at another marina altogether. Pretty hairy coming in here with some wind and everything. You know, Ooh, those a guys. lot of people came to you know help and throw some lines to and that kind of stuff. And then the skill was Aaron real. came with his boat and he, he he greased it in there. So um, anyway, so we're gonna head into town. We're gonna go grab a little lunch and hang out here for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Fabulous time, thank you so much. And for us too. It was really great time. Just had lunch at the Treehouse Cafe in Salt Spring Island. Does that sound right? Yeah, so now we are gonna leave this marina and head back over to Sydney, which is probably about a two hour cruise. Remember the third job. And then Don't hit a boat. And then room for the three jobs. Three. We are doing 7.35 knots with a heading of uh, 104. We're going to be into Sydney, back into Sydney by 9 p.m. Right now it's 7.09, so we've got about a couple hours. I lives up on the bow in a blanket with Cooper and uh, Trish and Tori are back here with Tracy playing gin. Take anyway. Okay, with this beautiful, lighting's not great, but the beautiful sunset behind us and we're just about to leave. I think this is a good time to maybe just kind of wrap up and I talk about. I feel like about. I left a piece of my heart back there with Kenneth and Tracy. I, I really I, loved spending time together. I do too, I so much fun. I feel like we just totally made two new friends that have yeah. been like part of our lives forever. We just didn't happen to meet them until later. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And um, and I actually left, you left your, your piece of your heart. I actually left my wallet. <laughs> Whether you're aware of it or not, George had this pathetic little plan to leave something behind so he could try and weasel a second date. So, when you pull that George yeah, can so up. <laughs> we'll be seeing them tomorrow. Hey, uh, Kenneth, uh, Mark here. No, no, big thanks to the Wesby family. So much fun. Go out there and, and paddleboard and dinghy rides and all sorts of cool stuff. So, yes. super fun there. But the fun in Vancouver Island is literally 
just starting. If that was the start, I don't even want to know <laughs> gonna what's happening. It's going to get crazy. So we're going to hang out in Victoria. We're going to go back to Victoria. And uh, we're going to go down to Victoria and show you around there. Then we're going to head over to Tofino and I'll head up to like maybe Campbell River. Mm -hmm. um, all sorts of cool places. Really neat. All right, let so the fun gorgeous. continue. Um, we leave you with this uh, beautiful sunset and we'll catch you first thing in the morning as we head to Victoria. Over and out.